Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. A while back I did a review on this product here, the Rigugu. Uh, it's an algae uh, magnetic algae cleaning device and I just want to do a follow-up with you on it and uh, just respond to a couple of the points or comments that you made when I first released the video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that, uh, that subscribe button and uh, the bell and all that good stuff. Let YouTube know that you like the channel. That will encourage YouTube to suggest the channel to other fish keepers like you and me. So I appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. So one of the concerns that uh, were expressed by you is that there, uh, there is a blade on here and there was some concern that that blade could damage uh, the, the silicone on the edges of the tank and that uh, a fish could possibly run into that blade. Now, I haven't seen any damage whatsoever and no fish have uh, come close to running into the blade, but I have some good news for you. Uh, if you take this item that comes with, with the uh, cleaner, this is the plastic piece that can be attached over the blade and is suggested to be used in the event that you have a, uh, an acrylic tank, for example. Uh, you can use that instead of the, the metal blade, even on glass, and I have found this to be just as effective as the blade in cleaning up uh, the green and the brown algae, the mulm and things of that that can, that can accumulate on the inside of your tank. So if you have a concern about micro abrasions, resulting from the blade or a fish running into the blade or the blade damaging some of the silicone in your tank, just go ahead and use the plastic, this plastic item that comes with, with the Rigugu. It slips right over the blade. Just use this item and, and uh, instead of the metal blade and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's not gonna be an abrasive whatsoever. I have found that it works very, very well. It does clean up very nicely. And when you're done using it, just store it with the blade just a little bit outside the water line. I notice an algae there near the top. I'll go ahead and clean up while I'm doing it. Go ahead and store it with the a blade just out, outside of the water, just like that. I, I store it like that outside of the, um, yeah, I'll do it here so you can see it. I store it like that with the blade outside of the water. There's no chance that a fish is going to run into that blade when you're not using it. So uh, now, that being said, if you're cleaning near the bottom, so let's say I take this and I'm cleaning up some algae down here. You do have to watch out that if you pick up, if you pick up any substrate, any of your substrate, if any of it gets between the, the two black, between the magnet, right, in the magnet area, if you get substrate back there, that will create micro abrasion. That could potentially, it hasn't happened to me, but it can potentially create the micro abrasions that some of you were afraid of on the glass. So from time to time, especially if you're working close to the bottom, like, you know, like doing this kind of stuff, cleaning up some of the algae that can uh, accumulate near the, near the actual line, the, uh, the top of the substrate. Be sure to, you know, just take a peek and make sure that there is no, no substrate in there. And if there is, pull it out, just give it a good you know, rub underwater, and that'll clean it up and you'll be fine. So uh, otherwise, as a follow-up, I like these, these Rigugus. They do float, so in the event that you do get disconnected, they will go to the surface. There you go. And the magnet is so strong that you can then pull it back over. So I'm very happy with this product. And uh, if you want a link to the product, I'll include it below. And uh, that's it, just a quick follow-up. If you picked one of these up and you have some feedback, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you think about it. And uh, I like the handle on it, I like the look of it. And I like the fact that I can replace the metal blade with plastic and be just as effective, 
in the cleaning up of brown and green algae and the just the light mulm that can accumulate and block the view of the fish. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to uh, rate, comment, like, subscribe, and I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's at 11 a.m. Central. We'll talk about fish care, filtration, food, substrate, you name it, great group of people. 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Hope to see you there. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.